Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series headless RHMI Windows Remote Access Console. And up on my screen here you can see that we are currently connected through our Ethernet port. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links to the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So as I was saying on my screen here, we are currently connected through our Ethernet port and the port number is 192.168.124. If I look at my setup, so we go here and on your um, the setup on the main menu and then we'll go to panel manager and what you'll see here is where we can actually change on the panel itself the project resolution now we're going to leave it as a default of VGA which is 640 by 480 but this is where you actually change it for your headless Seymour okay, so we'll just hit cancel out of that and then what we'll do is go to our same setup and then we'll go panel network and under panel network this is where we're going to be setting up um, our information about uh, different parameters. And if we go to the first one, is our Ethernet port. We are going to be setting that up for um, IP address 192.168.1.124, or sorry, 1.24. And then our subnet is 255.255.255.0. Our default gateway is 192.168.1.1. That allows this remote HMI to actually go out onto the internet. Then what we'll do is put in a designated name server, or DNS, and we'll have our preferred uh, DNS server as 8888, and our alternative is 8844, which is the Google server addresses. So then what we'll do is after that we will go to our web server and we'll turn on our web server function and we'll put a password uh, option in. Our account will be ACC and the password is ACCA. Now we use this in order to download our remote access console which is a Windows based software. Then we actually go to our remote access and under here we'll turn that on we'll leave the default port then what we'll do is we will look at our um, logon information we'll allow full control account name will be ACC and again the password will be ACCA now the user restrictions here what we'll do is set it for two users but we can have up to a maximum of eight per account and we can have three accounts so 24 uh, simultaneous connections to this uh, headless Seymour unit. So once we have that complete, right, then we'll just hit cancel there or save in your case. And then what we'll do is let's look at the actual hardware that we have here. And again, my hardware, I have my Rhino power supply here connected 24 volts into my uh, HMI. And then I have my Ethernet connection communicating, which is our address 192.168.1.24, which is going back into a um, my wireless router. So then here's my uh, remote, and currently right now we're in the run mode. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually uh, send this information down. and we'll transfer that we'll save the information first then we'll transfer there we go so transfer is now complete we'll say okay and we'll close this down now and now the next thing to do is we will go over to the panel and you can see here we're still connected we're going to our web server now we can also go up to here panel and select web server and what that will do 
is call up a browser for us. Here we go. And I had logged in previously, so it automatically remembered my username and password, but if not, it'll prompt you and the password and username is ACC and then ACCA. Then you'll see remote access here. We'll click on it. What it will do is now give us uh, a couple different options here. We have the firewall, so our computer, firewall, and then our, our unit. Or we have our computer, and then we stick to our Seymour, which is the one we have. So we'll have a built-in Ethernet, so we click it. It automatically will download the remote access console for us here. So if I click on it, I now will be asked for my uh, username, ACC, and our password, ACCA, we hit OK, and now I'm communicating to my Seymour unit. Let's reduce that down a little bit, and so there we go, and if I were to put this into stop mode by using the switch uh, setting. You'll see here the automatically our system screen on panel is displayed. Any data on the remote screen will not be updated. So that means that we're now going into our setup screens. So let's go back into our run mode and that message will then disappear. And sure enough, that's exactly what it did. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to actually get those uh, videos in the future. Remember to click the little bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.